Hey there, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for checking out today's video where I'm going to be opening up a mystery box that just came in from Faber-Castell. Not that long ago, they reached out, they said, hey, we're doing a mystery box and we'd love for you to check it out. You wanna do it? And I can't say no to mystery items. I love them so much. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what this whole mystery thing is about. All I've done so far is I opened up the box and then I pulled out like a sheet of paper and I was like, oh, put it away, let's record it because we are gonna check this out together. So the box itself, it's filled with stuff. I already saw one of the things, so, and, but I don't know what it's for. So let's let's take a look at what's in the box first, and then we'll read the actual piece of paper because it's much more fun to see what's in here. So they sent me a little Halloween pail. I'm liking that, but inside of here we've got we've got three things: one, two, three things. Oh, and a fourth thing inside the box. Uh, let's look at it. So the first thing that came inside of here is a terrarium planter. Did they do this because they know that I like succulents? I don't know. So uh, it looks like something for like air plants, or I guess you could put some dirt and a succulent in here. So I don't know. So we've got that. Birdhouse. Decorate your own birdhouse. So it's a little glue it together birdhouse. Okay. Outdoorsy, it feels like. All right. And this. Yep. So we got a a black mug here and then we've got the pail so four things and then ooh, inside of the box before we read the paper because who wants to read instructions and directions first <laughs> we have faber castell ooh metallic metallic markers okay let's let's read the paper let's see what it says so from faber castell says mystery box challenge ooh i love challenges Thank you for participating in Faber-Castell's Mystery Box Challenge. This box contains three undisclosed items as well as Faber-Castell's new, so these are new, neon and metallic markers. These right here, okay. These markers were designed to be used on nearly any surface. Well, then that makes sense for all of the stuff that they sent me, okay. The purpose of this challenge is to demonstrate just that. Feel free to customize the three mystery items as you see fit using only the markers provided. Oh, I will do that. So the rest of this is information about tags and hashtags, mystery box challenge, marker art, handmade gifts. All right, so, well, now I gotta take a look at what these markers are all about. So um, let's do the top down. Let's take a look at these together because, you know, looking at them like this is a bit difficult but this is pretty neat so metallic and neon markers that can write on anything so maybe we'll make a decision and we'll do something today on this so let's let's check it out let me go ahead and pull them out here because i do want to also check out the colors as well that are inside of here they said neon and metallic so let's check and see what we got here so we have 12 markers total Faber-Castell here on the top, Metallics. Oh, and we have names. This one is called Kissed by a Rose. <laughs> like that. Here we go, we got a Metallics. Date with Violet, so purple color here. Fairy Forest is the name of this one here. Queen of the Marine. Nothing else metals. <laughs> I love that for the silver one, that's funny. Asphalt Cowboy, love that. So that is like a brown gray. Wanderlust. I always love uh, how people name different products. It always cracks me up. Very nice, especially when I'm naming things. I'm like, okay, I want it to make sense, but I also want it to be kind of funny. Here's Ice Ice Blue. Oh, missed opportunity, could have been Ice Ice Baby Blue. <laughs> All right, Metallics Copper Cabana. Crimson Crush, sounds like a drink. And Heart of Gold for the gold. Okay, so love the names of these markers. That's super cool. So for today's video, I'm just gonna do like a fun Halloween one. And I think I'm gonna just do the mug here. If you've been watching my lives or anything else recently on Instagram, 
I've been talking a lot about like potion bottles and like witches stuff. So maybe we'll do like a witch's brew since it's a coffee mug and we'll write witch's brew on here, do some mark lettering. It's not like I'm a fancy letter or anything, but we'll do something fun. And then we'll go ahead and decorate this with a bunch of different like Halloween doodles. That could be super fun. And then what I'll do maybe for like the birdhouse and for the little planner deal, I'll post that stuff over on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, instagram.com slash men who bullet. Uh, we'll keep exploring with these. So let's go ahead and get started on our witch's brew. All right, I'm going to put down this white sheet of paper here. So as we're working, I just have something up against this background here. So we're going to be using this black mug that they sent along, and we're going to be putting witch's brew on here. What's important to remember or know is how people hold their mugs so that your image is on the right side. So if I'm a lefty, and I am a lefty, if I'm drinking my coffee this way, the image is going to be facing out this side. But if you are a righty or you're making this for someone who's right-handed, you want to make sure that the image is facing out here. So I'm going to make this for my wife. I hope she doesn't get mad that I made her a mug that says witch's brew on it, but it's all in good fun for the Halloween. So we're going to be using this side here. I've got my little plan over here, which is brew. We're going to draw two potion bottles, a spider web, and then we'll probably put some fillers around here with some of these other colors. So let's go ahead and do that. The other thing I want to do real quick, since I've never really used these before, on the other side, let's just see what this looks like. It's just heart of gold. So if I make a mistake, oh good, okay. So I can wipe it off right away. Or let's do a little bit of a test. Actually, let me read the back of the box because I think it actually said something on here about the way that these work. Probably good to read the directions first. Suitable for bright, dark, and colorful papers, smooth surfaces, so plastic transparencies, porcelain, glass, metal, okay. Smudge and splash proof. After fixation in the oven at 160 degrees, it's waterproof, but not dishwasher proof. Good to know. Water-based ink. Doesn't bleed through paper, odor free, no need to shake or pump. Okay, so it's not, I mean, because it's not a paint pen, so you don't have to worry about like activating or shaking it up. It's supposed to be smudge proof, which I'm going to assume probably a few, you know, there we go. Like, I'm not pressing very hard. I'm sure if I pressed harder, it would come off. Yeah, so if you press hard and then you bring a wet paper towel just in case it comes completely off. So, I mean, that was after less than a minute. So I'm sure as we're working and things are drying, it'll get better and better as we go. But let's go ahead and do this. The first thing I'm going to do is grab my nothing else metals, which is just that silver color there. And we're going to write, which is brew. It writes nice and smooth on there too. I really like that. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw one of our first potions over here. So I'm gonna use the Wanderlust. We're gonna draw kind of like an oval circle looking deal. Our stem, a small oval, two outward facing lines and connect those. That's gonna be the cork and the bottle. And then I'm going to take the heart of gold and I'm gonna just draw kind of like an organic circle in here. And I like to do this where it doesn't touch the sides as in that way it kind of looks like that potion is being suspended inside of there. And then my last detail is I'm gonna draw a little X, a little dot and like two strings hanging out over there. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is the other side. So I'm gonna do another shape over here. Instead of that triangle, I'm gonna do kind of like an organic looking bottle, something kind of weird. But same thing applies. You're gonna draw your stem, that circle, and then your cork. Let's pick this ice, ice blue. I like the way this looks. And we're gonna fill that in, not touching the edges. So it looks like our brew is suspended inside of the glass. Now I'm going to use Kissed by a Rose and I'm going to do our spider web down here. It's kind of, I like this color. It doesn't have, you know, it just kind of adds a little bit of extra fun. It doesn't have to be picture perfect. So we draw vertical, horizontal line, and then we draw two diagonals through. And then all I do is just a real quick spider web, which is drawing a U shape all the way around and connecting to each one of those lines. 
There we go. Let's connect this one. And then the last thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to just add in some space filler. So this is Queen of the Marine that I'm using right now. And I'm just going to do these three dots. It's like my number one go-to space filler. It's these like three dots around here. We'll use the gold, even though we used it before. We're just going to draw like little X's around here. Let's take date with violet and let's do some little stars. I feel like this was a really good use of these metallic markers on here. There we go. So a real quick mug, nothing too fancy from Mark over here. You know, I get crafty sometimes. So we have witch's brew and then we have two potion bottles, spider, some stars, little space fillers here, all using the Faber Castell metallic markers drawn anything. What a fun project. That was so cool to be able to use these markers on the mug. It's going to be awesome. I'm just going to use these for everything now. <laughs> I'm just going to put them on everything. And I was reading on the back of here and it says that if you want to put it on top of like a mug that you can actually put it in the oven at 160 degrees and it will uh, bake on there and, and be waterproof. So. Maybe I'll try that. I won't tell my wife that I'm going to put something in our oven that isn't food, but uh, that's not for you to worry about. That's for me to have to deal with later. <laughs> Thanks so much for checking out today's video. I'll chat with you all later. See ya.